As a young child, I grew up with prayer in the home. I was taught not only to pray at the table for the blessing of the food, but to take whatever was on my mind, morning, noon, or night, take it to the Lord in prayer, as my mother would say. We as a family of 13 sang songs on the front porch, swing. We would choose our favorite hymn, and each one of us would take turns leading our selected song. We even sang songs of praise when we would go for long rides on our pony and horse throughout the woods on our farm. I found through prayer that God was there for me, no matter what the circumstance or situation may be, with his comfort, with his compassion, and with his caring love. It is important when we focus on God that we see him being with us in our situation right at that moment. Too many people think of God as being too far away. They don't see God as being accessible or available throughout their day. The truth is, God is present with us every moment and has never left our side. As we go through our day, His Spirit within us is more than sufficient to handle whatever our day may bring. We are not to worry about tomorrow, but to trust God's love for us. Nothing is too small or too big to bring to God in prayer. How many times have you found yourself saying at the end of your day, when I got up this morning, I certainly didn't think I was gonna have a day like this. Our daily lives tend to be a mixture of surprises, both negatives and positives. We need to have that connection with God to help us with the unexpected things that take place. Good, a good way of connecting prayer is taking it to the Lord. Luke 11, 1 says, Jesus will teach us to pray. If we don't have the words, he will give us the words to pray through the Holy Spirit that lives within us. God's touch can remove the bags of exhaustion beneath our eyes and turn tears of despair into tears of joy. Jesus' light shines on every situation we face. His strength and power show themselves through our weakness, and Jesus wants us to bring our weaknesses to him. Physical, emotional, spiritual, nothing is impossible with Jesus. There is not a time in our lives when we are cut off from God. One of the greatest privileges in our life is that we were given instant access to him. We do not need to be in a certain place. We do not need to be with a special person to talk to God. He is not, it is not how we feel or who we are that matters. He wants us to come to him as we are. God wants to be the first one to whom we turn to for counseling, for comfort, for concerns, for anxieties, for fears, for worries and hurts. No matter how we feel, no matter how much we have been hurt, rejected by others, or how lonely we, we may feel at times, he is our shepherd. He doesn't walk away from us. We are the ones that walk away from him. I think it is wonderful to be able to say and to know that we have an almighty God that walks with us and talks with us and tells us we are his own. Jesus' love for us is forever. He accepts us just the way we are. He never expects us to get good before we get God. He desires for us to receive him so that he can help us in every area of our life. God expects and desires us to be knocking on his door, trusting him daily for direction in every decision we make. Our prayers to God are not just emails or text messages, but a keepsake that he holds on to forever. God is certainly and constantly working in our lives every minute of the day. He always has stood by and behind his promises to us. He's always done what he has said he would do. We just have to remember 
It's in his timing, not ours. The Bible tells us that we can't seek him without finding him. And my experience has been to know him is to love him. God is our Alpha, our Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He has engraved us in the palm of his hands. God does what it takes to get our attention. Has he gotten yours? His hand is there. Won't you grab it? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, you know us inside and out. You know our thoughts, our feelings, and our physical makeup. You know our past, our present, and our future. Most of all, you know what we are facing each and every day. Help guide us and give us direction. Keep us in full communication with you. Give us the awareness of your presence, your fellowship, your companionship, and your friendship. Guide us to do good works that will please you, Lord, that we may show our love to others through you and worship you with praise and glory. Our hearts overflow with gratitude for you, for who you are in our lives. Help us to knock on your door, to seek you in prayer and conversation, and take your hand and to trust in you. Open our eyes that we may see you, our ears that we may hear you, and our hearts that we may love you and love others through you, as you would have us to do. You truly are an awesome God, and we love you for who you are, what you have been in our lives, and what you will be in the days ahead. This we pray in your name, Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord. Amen.